Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Movie Snips. Today I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk about the scene from the Denis Villeneuve Dune adaptation where Lady Jessica and Paul are being transported over the deserts of Arrakis in the Harkonnen Ornithopter after being taken captive. Before I get further into this, please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The main question that needs to be addressed here is how did Dr. Yui manage to hide still suits and survival kits in the Thopter without the Harkonnens noticing? I looked online in, in, in search for answers on this topic, but I wasn't able to find much on it. There are a couple of explanations that may shed light on how Dr. Yui managed to pull off this dangerous and daring feat. For starters, Dr. Yui himself may have managed to get to the Thopter and plant the still suits just before being captured on Arrakis. This is an unlikely explanation because the, th the Thopter was probably well guarded and he, prob and he probably wouldn't have gone unnoticed. Another possible explanation would be that Duncan Idaho managed to locate the Thopter right before Lady Jessica and Paul were captured, dispatch the guards, and, and plant the still suits aboard the Thopter. This is a more likely explanation given Idaho's level of combat and infiltration expertise. The third possible explanation would be that either the Atreides or the Bene Gesserit had a Harkonnen insider on their payroll and used him or her to plant the still suits aboard the Thopter, either on Gedi Prime or just before the Thopter left for the desert. A maintenance man, perhaps, or possibly one of the guards in the Thopter's vicinity. This is probably the most likely and believable explanation in my opinion. It would seem quite plausible that the Bene Gesserit had agents among the Harkonnens that were working to ensure the safety of Paul and his mother given the importance of their Kwisatz Haderach grand plan. A fourth and more unlikely explanation is that one of the Harkonnens in the Thopter, perhaps the third man who piloted the craft, was responsible for putting the still suits in the Thopter in the hope that Lady Jessica and Paul would overpower the other two guards, giving him the opportunity to reveal himself as the insider. In the Dune novel, Jessica remarks that she felt sorry for the men aboard the Thopter because she thought that the Baron would kill them immediately upon their return. The Baron wanted no witnesses that could implicate him in the plot. Perhaps one of the guards knew that he was doomed right from the get-go and decided to, strike his, strike his luck, to try his luck by striking a deal with the two captives. It is also noteworthy that in the Dune 2021 adaptation, there were three Harkonnen guards abo aboard the Thopter. In the original novel, as well as in the 1984 Lynch movie, there were only two men guarding Lady Jessica and Paul with no third man present. The two men were named Zygo and Kinet. Kinet was the, scar the scarred deaf trooper that was specifically handpicked by the Baron because he was immune to the Bene Gesserit voice technique. The, the Dune miniseries of 2000 skipped over the scene entirely. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you feel I missed anything or would like to add anything to this discussion, please feel free to comment down below. Please also remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and please check out my channel for more Dune videos.